Hi everyone, welcome to another Tech Nerd tutorial. Today we're going to install the brand new plugin by Google that allows you to edit your Microsoft Office files in Microsoft Office while they're stored in Google Drive. In a web browser such as Google Chrome, in the address field, type in the address tools.google.com forward slash DL page forward slash drive for office. There'll also be a link in the description below. When you scroll down the page, there'll be a big blue download button you can click and then you can accept the terms of service. And this will download the plugin to your downloads folder. In Google Chrome, we can just go ahead and double click on the pop-up and then hit run and it will go ahead and download and install the plugin to your computer. Now, if you're doing this on a business computer at work, you may have to ask the IT to do it with administrative privileges. Although I have tried it as a standard non-administrative user and it still did install. So just always in a company, please double check with your IT if this is okay. Once it's installed, just close the tab and then you can go ahead and open up a Microsoft Office product such as Word. And then you'll get a pop-up which asks for you to get started. Here, it's gonna ask that you sign in with your Google account. So I'm gonna put in an email address and then it's password. And then when I sign in, it's going to ask for permissions for me to link this plugin with my account. I'm gonna go ahead and hit accept and now I'm done installing this plugin. It says I'm all set, hit the done and I'm good to go. When I click on the file tab, I will have a section now for Google Drive and I can open from Google Drive. This will give me another dialog box where I can now select a file like sample Word. In my Google Drive, it will download and open into Microsoft Office. So here you can see that I'm just going to go ahead and type a sentence at the bottom, so I'm making some changes. And then when I save as I normally would in Microsoft Office, it will upload to Google Drive with that new version. Now, if I go back to Chrome, I'm just going to navigate to Google Drive to just see the changes in Google Drive. The main thing to note is that we can see the document, but the time is now updated to the time of my computer. So it has then updated and it does update with the text that I have just added. So we can see that this is quite instantaneous. Back in Microsoft Word, if I go back to file and I try opening a Google Doc, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to now select a Google Doc and hit select. It is going to go back to Google Chrome and open in a new tab, the Google Doc. So Microsoft Office will not be able to edit any Google Doc files, only the Microsoft Office files that are selected. So with that, I can now go ahead and just close this tab. And now I'm just going to go back to the Microsoft Word to show a few of the other settings that are within the Google Drive plugin. So in the file tab, there is the regular save to Google Drive for this file and save as if I want to save it as a new file. I can still share files with others in which it'll open up a dialog box where I can now share this file directly in Microsoft Word and the advanced tab for me for advanced settings. The next thing to show in this plugin is the settings. The settings, when I click on the button, is going to show the user account and I can choose whether to show Microsoft Office and Google Doc files or Microsoft Office files only can sign out and then I can close this dialog box. This then makes it so when I open a file in Google Drive, all I see is the Word compatible files when I'm in Microsoft Word, the Excel compatible files when I'm in Microsoft Excel and so on. And those are the main features of the brand new Google Drive plugin for Microsoft Office products. Hi everyone, thanks again for watching this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any additional questions or comments. Furthermore, check out some of our related videos or find us in our social media. If you would like email notifications of whenever we release new video or written tutorials, you can go to our webpage technerdservices.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter. We will send to your inbox notifications of those new video and tutorials. Thanks again for watching and until next time, keep teching on.